Aloha guys, today I've got a fun and kind of interesting workout that will be 25 minutes long. There's a lot of variety built into it. And I want you to bring some playfulness today. Really enjoy yourself in this workout. And if you want a little bit of that extra spice, then move with speed, move with intensity, and you will get it from this workout. All right, let's get into this warm up. Let's get started, guys. Grab a band, a broomstick, or a towel. We'll use it for our stretch down in the end. Lunges with arm circles. Begin. This is one we haven't done in a long time. And grow those arm circles big. On my last villa, I used to hit that lamp. Not with the new villa. All right, in reverse direction, arm circles. So much more room here. All right, and let's get into our bobbies while we continue to lunge. Oh, yes, this one to open up the chest. Feels money today. And we'll go up and down. All right, and shake it out. We're gonna do some bootstrappers up next. Now you start where you place your hands on your feet and then you sink your hips down and lift your chest up. Shift your weight from side to side and play around down here. And when you're ready, we'll go butt up and you hold on to your toes. You can actually pull yourself down in this hamstring stretch. And we'll just alternate between the bottom of the squats and this ragdoll-like position. Move between the two at whatever pace feels good to you. And we've got the monkey coming up next. So double, double hip opener, back to back. Just hang out here, and now we're ready to monkey. And get what you, what you need out of this one. I like to lean forward so I can loosen up my ankles a little bit more. My ankles tend to be a limiting factor for me. Maybe it's just sitting your butt really low and getting more into the hips. This is intended to help us loosen up our squat position. But maybe what you need to do is sit up tall and glide through the bottom of the squat. Play around with those and see what what your body needs. And spider dogs up next. You step one leg forward, hips down. Woo. And when you're ready to switch sides, we'll press back into downward dog. And step the other foot forward. Dropping those hips down low. Oh man. A shorter workout yesterday, but still pretty high intensity and switch from side to side as you wish yeah pretty high intensity and I'm feeling it in the hip flexors for sure We're gonna finish our warm up with dive bombers. So you can get ready in downward dog, get prepped, and begin. Inhale as you dive forward, exhale as you press back, and repeat. Find that rhythm and zone out with this movement.
Okay, and stand it up, guys. We're gonna start this workout in 25 seconds. Now the reps will go like this. Two, four, six, eight, 10, as far as you can go in two minutes. And our first two movements are Navy Seals. So we'll do two Navy Seals, followed by two double lunge squats. Then we'll do four of each, six of each, as deep as you can go into these reps in two minutes, then we'll break for 30 seconds. Navy Seals in two, one, begin. So two reps here. Two Navy Seals, two double lunge squats. Now we'll do four of each. And so on. And rest for 30. Now, same reps throughout the entire workout. We're gonna start back at two, four, six, eight. Build it up as far as you can go in two minutes. Same format, but two new movements. Jump lunges where left is one, right is two, and regular push-ups. It's gonna feel very similar to what we just did. That's okay. Jump lunges in two, one, Begin. So left side is one, right side is two. Do two push ups. Then four of each, six of each, and so on. It gets easier after this, guys, so dig in to these reps. I mean, the movements get a little bit easier.
Oh, that was good. Okay. Next. Same reps again, same format, two minutes. Lateral lunges and mountain climbers. The left will be one for the lateral lunge, right will be two. For the mountain climbers, left, right is one rep. One, two, one, begin. So lunge is one side is one, and two, the mountain climbers, left, right is one. One, two, and four of each. Rest for 30. Whew. Oh, that was good. Next two movements, push-up dogs and four kick-throughs. And every time you kick will be a wrap. All right, guys, we're making our way through this thing. Two, one, B, and push-up. Downward dog, and push up. Downward dog, straight into your kick through. Forward kick through. One, and two. Then four of each.
Okay. <coughs> Next one's gonna be a little more chill. Actually, the latter half, we've got 15 minutes left, is gonna be more chill. Bird dogs and crab extensions. To make these bird dogs more challenging, you can lift your knees up off the floor. Start right here. Bird dog is here. One, two, you flip over, grab extensions, here you go. One, hips up, hips down, and two. Now four of each. Now keep your knees hovering if you wanna make this more challenging, more of a core exercise. Really press up and open up the chest with each one of these high crabs for crab extensions. Stability work with that one. All right, monkeys and ducks. So we're into the animal portion of this workout, guys. You guys are familiar with the monkey. We did in the warm up. Every time you monkey hop, will be a rep. Monkey, crawl, whatever it is. There's one. Two and a duck walk, you see right here. One, two, pretty simple. Now four of each. Yeah. Oh, 
those. Add it up. All right, and these are gonna compound on the quad burn. Horse, which is kind of like a wide, low lunge, or low squat, where we walk. And then frogs, regular froggers. And two, once you go wide stance, you get low. Step forward, one, two, and then we're frogger. One, two, and wide with our stance. One, two, three, four. You guys know the rest. got really tough really quick Kick is a wrap and the matrix. And two, one, begin. So kick is one, kick the other side is two, into our matrix. You're jumping over as far as you want to reach. The 
little bit more core shoulder work coming up in this next set. We've got lion crawls and alligators. Alligators are like a push up while you crawl. Do your best, whatever happens here. Try your, your best to stay moving. Start with the lion, just two steps. Ready, begin. So knees hovering, you go one, two, and then alligator is push up and step. Mess that up. This is it, this is the last one. Frog hops and grasshoppers. Frog hops are just another way of saying jump squats. So you know, if you can make it look a little more frog-like, that's what we're trying to do. Frog hops, grasshoppers in two, one, begin. Frog hop one, two, and then grasshopper is here. One, two. I get the frog hops. This is it, guys. Home stretch. All you got right here. Mm. Upgrade complete. 
Oh, ow, it's quad burn. A short rest today. Breathe in 10 seconds. We'll grab our equipment. Or we'll start our shoulder pass throughs. In three, pause the video if you need to. Whoa, pass throughs. Oh yeah. Ooh, I feel so good on the shoulders and the chest today. I've been doing a fair amount of surfing lately too. This is definitely one I need. Last one, before we get into our cyclones. <sighs> Any direction, it's fine. And we'll reverse the direction. Ooh, that was a good one. Not too crazy, it had its moments though. All right, and we'll get into our tricep shoulder stretch. This one right here. Oh yeah. We got a thicker band today. Going deep into the stretch. You can tilt your head, turn it, whatever feels good to you. And go ahead, switch sides. Whoa, that was intense, okay. Eight more seconds, guys. And we'll toss our equipment to the side again to our Spider-Man lunge. Two, one. Equipment to the side, left foot steps forward, right foot back. Let's open up these hips. Ooh, this, today's workout was harder on the legs than I anticipated. So really stretch out the hips now and drop down to your elbows. Shake out the left leg real quick. Oh, sorry. Drop down into pigeon and put that leg down and lower on top into sleeping pigeon and relax. Okay, now we'll shake out the left leg. Sorry about that, guys. And the right foot steps forward. In our Spider-Man lunge, move the hips around. Move this front knee around. And drop down to your elbows when you're ready. Fold your right leg down to the side, or lay it down, and cover it with your chest. Put this pigeon to bed, and fully relax for 20 more seconds. seated kneeling position. You rock from side to side, stretch out the quads a little bit. Nice to interlace the fingers behind the back. Open up the chest. Push your knuckles down toward the ground behind you. Open up the chest and tilt your head from side to side. Woo, cracks. Yeah. Now straighten out your right leg. You wanna do one side or you can 
both legs back and we'll do our quad stretch. Either one side or both. You just lean back as far as you feel comfortable going into this quad stretch and relax. If you did just one side, then switch to the other side. And we'll continue the quad stretch. And make your way up Woo. and straighten out your legs. Oh, be gentle. And we're gonna reach forward to the toes and drop your chest forward or fold forward and rock from side to side. And our toe touch stretch. Into happy snail. And lower down into happy baby. Oh yeah, back cracks. Woo. Bring your knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around and squeeze your knees into your chest and hold. And release your legs, get comfortable. Minute 53 Shavasana starts right now. Upgrade complete. 
Yeah! Oh, guys, happy Thursday. I hope you enjoyed that workout. Now I've got a serious workout for us tomorrow that will cap at 40 minutes. It's gonna be an awesome grind. So I hope to see you guys there for Friendly Competition Friday. But before I let you go, I wanna let you know that yesterday we started the September Intermittent Fasting Challenge. If you wanna be a part of it, click the link down in the description to download the Life Fasting app. You can become a part of our group in that circle where we can hold each other accountable and try to adhere to the 16-8 fasting protocol where you fast for 16 hours and you have an open feeding window for eight hours. In addition to that, this is kind of bonus, I will be hosting two 24-hour fasts per week on Monday and Thursday just to give our fasting regimen a little more potency and a little more of those health benefits, whether it be fat burning or disease risk preventative. So this really is about much more than just losing weight, guys. Uh, high insulin levels have been shown to be related to a lot of skin conditions like acne and skin tags. So if you have any issues with that, then jump on board with this challenge. Or if you know someone with those conditions, jump on board with this challenge, get them to be an accountability buddy with you. And also elevated levels of insulin have been directly connected to a lot of the chronic illnesses that are plaguing humanity right now, like type two diabetes, heart disease, obesity, cancer. So let's get healthy together and let's just try out this fasting regimen if you like. Patrons, subs, I love you guys so much. Thank you for all your continued support. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow for Friendly Competition Friday. Aloha.